found something out today. Um, I was having a lot of issues with this fan. This is the exact same fan I've got in the car. This is just an extra one I got from, I had from the pick and pull. Um, but it's got, this one's got this pulse width controller on it. And when I, when I'm running this fan here, it pulls so much amperage on, on startup that it bogs the car. It don't matter if I'm going, if I'm at idle or if I'm at 60, I can feel the fan cutting on. And I feel like I'm going to burn the alternator up on it one of these days. But, uh, so I wanted to fix that. And here's a little test that I run. Basically, this is your fan on-off output that you would usually use on the Mega Squirt. It's actually labeled idle in the software. And so I've got it running to this controller here, the little wire on the controller. And I've just got constant power and ground going into this controller here. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna switch this off on and off with a relay with the car or what, but they said don't backfeed the Mega Squirt with it off. So, and when I checked it with the meter, even with everything off, this has 12 volts to it. Um, so, I have to take my word for it, but it's got 12 volts, basically battery voltage going to it all the time. And what actually happens is in the, in the software here, in the Mega Squirt, I've got it labeled generic PWM A, and then you go in on output pin and you turn on the idle pin. And which is like I said the, the fan which you would usually use and from what I was reading the frequency is 100 Hertz so which is working so far and I use the coolant to drive this speed on here right now I've got it starting at 180 and it's basically gonna come on at 180 which is about 10% duty on the pulse width controller and then it goes up to 205, which it'll get to 95% duty, which what I was reading was basically full blast, nothing else to do. But I'll demonstrate it coming on here. Um, right now the coolant temp is at 77, so I had to change this load here to, uh, we'll change it from 70 to 100. And the fan just kicked on actually. And once I interpolate this, it'll actually go a little bit faster because it'll actually change the range of this here. Highlight, interpolate. See, it's coming on now. And it's got a little, when I was reading, it's got almost like a delay type circuit in it. And as you can see, it's running. It's still moving quite a bit of air. Um, even at, you know, that's like, what, 30% that it was at? So, I don't know. I figured y'all would like to know that some of my mega squirt people but uh let me know if that helps all right so i've got the controller wired up it works awesome i uh just cranked it up let it let it run it started to kick on about 180 like it was supposed to and it sat at about where the thermostat opens up about 185 186 for a long time and it, it slowly crept up to about 190 just sitting here i let it idle in the driveway for about 20 minutes and uh it's doing really good um i did wire in this relay here that actually cuts the um the 12 volts going back for the pwm control to the mega squirt so it doesn't backfeed the mega squirt when the car's off um i was reading somewhere where actually in the manual where you don't want to backfeed for pwm control so uh i tried to avoid that so it's got key on power and uh to power up the coil to make the loop for the pwm back to the mega squirt but it works awesome um i don't know how hot it is still i try to crank it up and, uh Put the laptop in here. Got the dash back out, making some changes.